thing about cloud is we as a technology people think cloud is our invention. Mm -hmm. Cloud is actually the invention of the CFOs. Mm -hmm. Back in 2008 or 2007, we had the worst recession since the Great Depression when the CFOs saw the data center running at the same CapEx. Mm -hmm. The lights are on, thousand servers are still humming because they had signed licenses for those servers for five years mm -hmm. and they didn't like it. So they went to our CIOs and said, listen, I don't like it. I want you to create a model which is pay, per pay as we go and I want that moved from a fixed cost to variable cost. That was the birth of the cloud. What really is the cloud? I mean, what, what is that conceptually? How do we, how do we define the cloud? What's that? What is that? It's a lot of things bundled, like a lot of old services, a lot of new services bundled under that banner. But it's basically a way that we can push um, our requirements for service to third parties uh, in a transparent and ideally a clean enough, a sort of cleaner way as we can. How secure is the cloud and, and, and how, do we, <laughs> how do we test that security? It depends on the organization that you're outsourcing to. And again, this isn't a new problem. We know we've been dealing with outsourcing contracts for, well, as long as I've been in security. Um, so it's very much dependent on the vendor that you're dealing with. So it can be, and especially again for small to medium enterprises who can't build their own security departments, considerably more secure. I think when you get to, say, financial services and things like that, then they need to consider very carefully how they're putting things like their algorithms, their IP, and their business data into that environment. The question to ask is, is cloud security or security of the cloud service provider better than yours mm -hmm. yeah. or worse than yours? <laughs> yeah, it's like actually the first question you ask is do we understand our current risks? Right. Do we know what our assets are before we even think about moving this thing? Actually having an understanding of your data classification, data structure, a lot of companies do not do that well. Absolutely. And that is the first and most important thing you should be thinking about before you go into the cloud environment actually. Let's, let's talk about governance and what yeah. does that really mean for, for us as we transition more and more into the cloud? So I, th I think to me that's a pretty simple thing. I mean that we have an expectation of how we manage risk. And um, in order to do that, we need to have an understanding of what the state of systems are and the state of our controls. And we need that level of transparency, the same level of information from the cloud providers we do from our internal systems. Let's not pretend that internal security in organizations is perfect. It's far from that. Um, so, you know, all we're trying to understand is, is the risk equivalent or is the risk really acceptable? So, you know, we don't expect the cloud providers to be perfect either. You know, we just want to make sure as organizations that we're managing a risk that is a level of risk that's acceptable to the business. And so to do that, it is, requires that kind yeah, of interaction. Absolutely. There are certainly risks, Correct. pitfalls in, in, in any technology that's not fail safe, but what are some of those things that we would consider if, if a client were to think today, hey, I want to migrate to the cloud and in a year from now we're going to be there, but what, what do we need to be thinking about? As I look at my business processes and my infrastructure and technology going into the cloud, I have to do a risk-based decision today whether I'm ready to go to cloud. If yes, for what processes? and at what level, infrastructure or platform or security mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. software as a service or many X as a service. But understanding our own infrastructure, understanding my own environment, if I know where exactly my PII, PCI, financial data resides, then I can mandate that to the cloud service providers. Mm -hmm. This is how I want you to control my data. Mm -hmm. What are some concerns that you think the cloud service providers, what, what's but it's, what's on their mind? Security breaches and mm -hmm. notification laws. One of the questions you should be asking is, is like, where is my data going to be right. residing? Absolutely. Because when you get into these kind of investigations, um, that becomes incredibly pertinent as to you know, the laws that surround it, how you can enforce, how you can prosecute, extradite, and all those kind of things. So Absolutely. The thing is, is that I know some of the big cloud providers are maintaining teams of investigators mm -hmm. um, who are able to respond much more quickly right. than an organ and capture the right information much right. more quickly yeah. than you would. So, Again, there's a lot of strong advantages there. Okay. You know, even at a security level, I think, you know, and people are very dubious about the security piece, but I think done well, it can be a very, you know, if you have a good partner as a cloud provider, it can be very powerful from a security sure. point of view. It sounds like it's seemingly that the cloud is really more of a business imperative anymore than, than a nice to have. Do you have a, a choice of going to the cloud today? Maybe. Two years down the road? I don't think so. Mm -hmm.